Welcome back, all you awe inspiring gladiators. Welcome back to the Sledgehammer's Edge Power Pack. Hey, have you picked up your copy of the Sledgehammer's Edge? If you haven't, please do so. It's available on Amazon India. And much of what I've written here about the young boy who begins his life as an ordinary newspaper seller at every single crossing eventually becomes a major tycoon running a long chain of a large chain of fast food joints which he which was actually his dream if you haven't you must because a lot of what i'm talking about is from this book that i've written incidentally do you know why i've called this the sledgehammer's edge power pack series very importantly the sledgehammer's edge why was the book that i wrote entitled the sledgehammer's edge there are hammers and there are hammers and there are hammers and when they're used they have to connect more often onto probably a nail head to actually drive the nail into the wall or into the wood or whatever but a sledgehammer has an edge over all hammers one powerful stroke is enough to do the job and that is where i'm coming from in this new fresh series that i am i have crafted for all of you all you the gladiator and your gladiatorial path what should be your gladiatorial path Let's not forget, we are now in the second wave of the pandemic. Disturbed? Not me. There are millions of ways to disrupt disruption, and it is so important that we do that to rise out of this entire situation. that everyone is suffering from not only professionals and businessmen and the like but children now even children are getting infected old people there's a strain on hospitals strain on doctors nurses the whole world seem to be spinning out of control but sledgehammers like you can never go out of control and that is going to be the main ethos behind our next series beginning now your gladiatorial path to achieve what you want to achieve in life even through disturbing times like this what is very very critical is for you to chase what could possibly be your ultimate possibility i have been chasing my ultimate possibility from the time i realized that there is probably a possibility in me which is the ultimate so every time i achieved something i thought well that must be the ultimate possibility but it never was i was in sales i did a very good job moved ahead in life then i was in advertising i became a writer i became an artist i became a speaker and i every time i became something successfully i thought ah this must be my ultimate possibility but it never really is but in the journey of searching for your ultimate possibility what's most amazing is you contribute so beautifully with whatever strength that you have or strengths that you have within you and that's the excitement of chasing for your ultimate possibility your ultimate possibility is the summit but look what's happening this during this entire journey of yours to your ultimate to your ultimate possibility this entire journey 
You spend emancipating, empowering, delivering, creating and crafting amazing other possibilities. There are four things that I want you to do. We need to have a certain mindset as gladiators, successful gladiators. We need to have a certain mindset to launch into understanding what our path is eventually. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to concentrate on one thing. Always from now on, exclusively compete with yourself. Your success will only come when you are competing exclusively with yourself. When I started my career, I started as a management trainee. That was a destination they gave me as when I was a waiter because I was a graduate. And they, at that point in time, graduates were not, were not supposed to be given waiter jobs. But I wanted that particular job because I loved the way waiters were connecting with people, having an opportunity to talk to strangers and making befriending them. And I loved it. So I started my work as a waiter. But every moment of my existence, I kept on competing with myself, raising the bar against my own deliveries. So I tell myself every morning, okay, this is what I did till yesterday. Let's see how I can improve myself now, today. So every time the sun rose, I made a quick analysis of what my past was like and what I got to do that one step better or one step higher. Till 40 years later, I became the CEO of a large multinational organization and institute into clinical research. And here, possibilities. I got so involved with understanding and exploring and exploring and understanding the adverse reactions of drugs that I began to present papers on the subject. And believe you me, I'm an honors student in history. But that was, I thought, another amazing possibility, but possibly not my ultimate one. So when you compete with yourself, forget about what the rest of the world is doing. If you believe like I do, that other people's opinion of me doesn't make me, then why do we have to compete with anybody else? Try competing with yourself. You'll burn out much faster than, by then competing with anybody else. Believe me. But if you take yourself, competing with yourself seriously and Take it measure for measure, you won't burn out, don't worry. I did it. That's the first thing I want you to do. Second thing I want to do is physically work out every morning. Get yourself moving. Get your entire energy space shot up. You will thank yourself for doing this. 30, 40, 50 years from now. Believe me. At my age, my 60s, there is no way I'll not jog for 3 kilometers and do my entire 1 hour yoga schedule including, not including my 20 minute meditation. And believe me, I am absolutely energized to take on life thereafter. That's the second thing. The third most important thing is, and take this very, very seriously, all you gladiators there. I would like you to sit down every morning for about five or ten minutes and be grateful. Be grateful about what? About what you as an individual have achieved in life. That is very, very important. You know, we always tend to appreciate everything that is happening around us, everything that other people are doing, but we very rarely appreciate things that we have done. And that is very, very important. 
It doesn't matter how successful you've been in life or how not successful you've been in life. It all that doesn't matter because you cannot measure success until you have sat down and looked at what you have achieved and what you need to achieve. You have a tendency to measure success in comparison to somebody else. That's because you never ever sat down with yourself and deeply contemplated in what you've actually achieved all these years. Look at yourself as a son, a brother, a husband, a friend, a father. Look at the contributions that you've made in everyone's life, no matter how small. Revel in it, be proud of it, because you did it. Look at the things that you've accumulated around, around yourself. Probably the car that you bought, the bike you bought, or that house you recently bought, or the things you bought for your mom, your dad, your, your wife, your husband, children. Those came from you. Chalk them up. And be proud and grateful that the universe, that God, gave you the strength to achieve that. So therefore, don't worry about what others have and what and where they come to life, where they've come in life, and so on and so forth. Forget about all that. Think, analyze, and revel in what you have done all these years. And then now make a plan in terms of what you're going to do tomorrow. Live that kind of life. I have lived that kind of life. And whatever I have today. I am grateful to the Almighty to have given me the strength to do all this. Finally, finally, and I sincerely request you do this, meditate. Start with two or three minutes a day, maybe five minutes, six minutes, ten minutes. Just sit, sit in a quiet place, enjoy the quietude, enjoy yourself breathing in and breathing out, enjoy your mind thinking, chattering like a monkey, it doesn't matter, enjoy that. It doesn't matter whether your body is a little painful because you're not used to sitting for so long on a floor, it doesn't matter. Look at your body, smile. Look at your mind, smile. Because you're neither your mind or your body. So it doesn't matter. Remain in silence. Keep sitting. Imagine another you within you. What would that other you be like? Or rather, what would you want that other, other you to be like? Think about it. Enjoy that moment. I can assure you, in a few weeks, those 5 minutes and those 10 minutes will soon move to 50 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, because it is so hypnotic. It is so relaxing. It is so wonderful. And most of all, it is so calm, peaceful, and knowledgeable. That's where I was coming from. Very knowledgeable. Because within you are millions and millions and millions of answers to all your millions and millions and millions of questions. Every question that the answer you seek for is within you. But to get to that, you have to learn how to sit in quiet. And it takes time. It takes time. But then you're a gladiator. And a gladiator knows what consistency and resonance is all about. So, till the next session that we get into, which will be the beginning of understanding what your path as a gladiator should be. Have a great life. See you soon.
Ciao, Fernando.